Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can integrate upsells inside of your e-commerce store. It is now possible to add an upsell behind a page where somebody already purchased something instead of just showing a simple thank you page or instructions on how to access the previously purchased product. You just want to make sure you offer it something else in order to increase the average order value. Okay, so you could also add actually multiple upsells one page after the other. But for now, let me show you how you can add one upsell behind a already purchased product. All right, first we want to click on sites on the left, stores at the top. Then either you create a new store by clicking the plus new store button or you select your existing store. In this case, let's select our demo store here. And then what you want to do is create a new page. Click the add new page button and you want to give it a name. Let's call it upsell. Give it a path slash upsell. We don't want to import it from ClickFunnels right now. We're just going to create it on our own. Click create new page. Then we're going to create from blank. And here we want to select full width. So you want to add a row. Click one column and then click add element. Scroll down to the bottom and select upsell. Okay, so this is the upsell feature. Here in the top right hand corner, you can enable or disable shipping and you can manage your products. In case you haven't any products created just yet, you can click on manage products. And here you could create a new product by just simply clicking plus create product or you import it from Stripe directly. Since we have our product already created, we're just gonna go ahead and keep going. And here on the right, you have the typical options how to you know adjust your font. Let's say you want to change the default font to Lato. You can see the upset product font has changed. Let's change the pricing font. So keep an eye on this now. Let's change that to Lato as well. And it has changed. Okay. So you can do the same with the price discount font family. Let's say Lato. And here that has changed as well. You can change the size right here. You can change the font weight right here from normal to medium, for example, or anything else from semi bold to bold and so on and so forth. You can also switch between desktop and mobile here. Then you can change the price discount font as well, which is the little green one here. Let's say that's 20. Now that has gotten a lot bigger, right? And you can also change the font weight from that discount price from normal to bold, for example. Okay. Right here, you can adjust margin and padding. Here you can change the button text. Let's say walk now. And here you can select the product. Click the drop down menu and all the products which you've added under the product section that I just showed you will show up here. So let's select our dog relocation service, for example. And then the next step would be either you can select go to a URL or select the next step inside the e-commerce store, right? Let's say go to website URL and let's select a thank you page right here, okay? Here, you could also, again, select another upsell. For this, you would just need to create another upsell page, just like we did a minute ago. For now, let's click Thank You. Then let's click on Advanced. Here, you can change the thickness of the border, the color, the corner radius, the style. You can add some shadows. You can add some custom class, and you can make it visible in mobile or in on desktop, so you can really customize it here as well. So now, we also need to add a skip button or a skip text, okay? which is if somebody does not want to buy this particular upsell, then we still want them to go to the thank you page because maybe there's some important information on the previous product they've purchased, for example, how they can access a course where they can find the login details if you're selling digital products, for example. So we want to give them the option to either book it now or to skip it, right? There's two options. You can either add a button which says skip now. So add a button. And then add here, skip now. Then you can add a subtext here. I don't like my pet and I like to travel alone. Okay, so like making them really feel bad traveling without their pet since we are selling a dog relocation service. Since we are skipping this, we want to link to a website URL, for example, or go to page. Okay, and then in the go to page, we can also select the thank you page. All right. So again, this is if they don't like the upsell, then they should still see the thank you page. Okay. You don't have to add a button to make it less obvious. So you can also add a text field, for example, let's say paragraph. And then you can also take this text here and add it here. Make that text a little bigger and so on. Like it's really up to you how you would like to lead the people to the thank you page in case they are not looking to purchase the upsell. Also make sure that the upsell is actually something that is very useful and that matches the first product. Like for example, this should have really been our first product. Hey, if people buy a dog relocation service, then the upsell could be 
private escort service from the airport back to your house. Okay, that is not something people necessarily need, but it's a nice add-on and it matches the first purchase. Like it is relevant to the first purchase. There's no point in offering an upsell that is a garden cleaning or something random like that. So really make sure that the upsell matches the first product purchase as well. Okay. Also, what you should know is when somebody purchased the upsell, it does create a separate order under the order section. And then here, if you enable shipping, in this case, we wouldn't enable it just for the because of the nature of the product. But in case you would enable it, then people will be able to select their shipping rates at checkout. And then we want to preview the whole thing. Click preview, top right. And here you can see the checkout page. The prices is not going to show up right now because Stripe is not connected to this account. You would be able to skip now and you would see the thank you page. Here, if you prefer not to have a button, but this sentence as clickable you would obviously need to put like a hyperlink here let's go back real quick so you would just go into this text field highlight it click hyperlink and then type www.yoururl.com slash thank you right so and then open the current window on a new window up to you and then hit save and that then would be clickable on the actual upsell checkout page right and real quick, this is how it would look like on mobile. So if you want to edit the mobile version, you just click on mobile mode up the top right here and then edit your fonts and colors and all of that right here. That's it already. This is how you integrate upsells into the e-commerce stores. So if you're running an e-commerce store, I would encourage you to just integrate that as soon as possible because chances are really high once people see the upsell and it matches the first product, it makes sense for them to purchase it. People are already in buying mode. They already entered their credit card details. So you may as well just offer something to upsell. Well, I hope you like this new feature and I'll see you in the next video.